What is your experience with Yu-Gi-Oh's disgusting beasts? Uh, no, um, no, not, not. There, there are the ones that you can mention, but besides them, because we tend to forget that the dramas are beast type, which is an insult to animals. Well, those aside, um, obviously you've got things like gruesome goo, which nobody actually plays, but which you can look at and say, "Ugh, ugh, oh no." Yeah. I guess, I guess my most recent experience with some kind of loathsome Yu-Gi-Oh beast is probably that like they reprinted or I guess retrained Shadow Ghoul, and so I'm playing that a lot. Was wait was good. Gruesome Ghoul a beast type? Oh, you're talking like Beast Beast. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, last time I played a a beast heavy deck was stuck in King of the Beasts and Moja. Uh, Mo Moja's a classic. Classic well, beast. We're not looking at Moja today exactly, we're looking at Behemoth. Let me just uh, center the screen there. Oh. We go. All right. I love this dude. I, I am going to tell you outright, I love this fucking dude. I... Because he's on like every card. He is just a shorthand for fucking animal in Yu Gi Oh!'s visual language. I love this design because. Like, for one, he is fucking ripped and jacked, and it looks funny, but also, just the design of his face and head and everything is really, like, freaky. Specifically, the edge of his mouth stretching out like that. It, it looks like he's so fucking mad that he's ripping his own face apart. Yeah. Um, yeah, this this really fits the, the, the title, you know, King of All Animals. I could see this guy being the King of All Animals. A lot of that is... Spitting cum all over the place. Um, there's like a little thing over there behind him. I can't tell exactly what monster that's supposed to be if it's real. Uh, uh, see oh, it? there is like a little dude back there. Yeah. That looks like. Uh, you know what that looks like? This artist drew Ojama Yellow as a horror monster, and it's the scariest thing we've ever seen. But... Click on our article to read more. <laughs> But the article is actually about Behemoth. Uh, yeah, this is cool. Not much else I can say about this guy other than, yeah, this, this fits the description. This uh, could have been a really cool thing if the card was good, which it wasn't. Uh, it has, like, a Monster Hunter tail situation going on, I, which is interesting. Yeah, this does kind of look like a Monster Hunter, except in Go Monster Hunter it would be called, like, Grogmasgios and not Behemoth. Well yeah, Gletus Fetus, and it would have, like, <laughs> three moves with no wind-up that do all of your health three times in damage. Oh, whoops, you got hip-checked, guy. Back to spawn point to look to get the... <laughs> oh, you didn't mount him? Well, sorry. Try again, dude. <laughs> Rather casually naming an actual monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this like... Yeah, yeah, Keisuke Tagaki, this is like if, the, if uh, <laughs> the Baki author just drew a normal dog. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the thing in the background is Mad Dog of Darkness, which the, the thing is kind of scrunched up on my screen, so I can't see it. But yeah, I could. It looks look. like Ojama Yellow, but evil from where I am. All right. Well, uh, I don't know who or for what reason they decided that this guy absolutely sucks, but that is the direction they went with him because the first card, I'm pretty sure. Actually, wait. Before all that starts happening, let's just bizarre go... colored panel. Let's just go over the cards that he was featured in before he got his ship pushed in. So here's the big march of animals. So you can clearly see he's a lot bigger than it initially lets on. Holy fuck! And there's a lot of animals here. So, do, do we take this to mean that, like, the one human-looking thing here is as tall as a normal human? Is that our only frame of reference? Because otherwise, Good I don't know question. how big anything here is relative to anything else. Yeah, this this card is actually like I always thought this art was neat, but now looking at it and comparing Nekogel to you know an average human, I'm just like concerned because that's a short fucking monkey, and also Ojama King is person sized. He's let's say he's like six foot eight. Yeah, he's just really wide. 
that he you could like meet him eye to eye practically. He could stand over you and you could see all of him. Which scares me. He could fit into your house, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. He here. couldn't get out though. Uh, well, no, you'd have to fucking kick him out the window. But you but. see, it makes sense because Rescue Cat is realistically sized compared to a human. Even though Des Koala is fucking huge. But and... Des Koala is like two inches high here. Yeah, but it's like... Uh, I mean, a koala... It's just... Uh, it's kind of just like a big koala. Yeah. A giant rat is also... I mean, I, it's I a giant rat. Yeah, it's a giant for a rat, but based on the art, I was always assuming that he was, like, person-sized. Yeah, yeah, you're right. This is such a relation. Now, Bazoo the Soul Eater should not be that small. It should be bigger than a person. That one I'm fine with. I mean, he's a monkey. Monkeys are sort of human-ish height, but they're all squatted down. That's fine. Uh, what else is I do, here? once again, get from, like, the art that he looks huge. So does fucking... What is that thing called? It's not Pale Beast when it's red. It's the other one. Uh, Pan Beast. I, I don't remember. I know what you mean, but I don't know. It has a really basic name. Uh, there's Burglar. It's the rat with the claw. You can't see the claw because of the donation bar. Um, That's fine. There's, there's fucking the Dodo, whatever it's called. There's the, fucking... The, is that Fusionist? Wait, where? Oh, it is! Is it... It's fucking fusionist! The, the classic beast type. There's Leo, whatever there in the background. Sage Leo. I, I don't so know yeah, any... the si honestly, just the sheer, the absolute size of Behemoth is pretty impressive, but what's more impressive is, you know, putting all the beast type sizes into context and seeing that most of them are, you know, kind of reasonable, actually. Cool, neat card, interesting. Now, why did they make? This? I don't know. Where like, are where are the beasts going? Where are they marching to, and why? What is that in the fucking background? More is that beasts. Air marmot of nefariousness back there. I'm I'm just I'm trying so hard hmm. to parse this beast parade. All right. Well, All right. cool. Interesting. Weird. Great. Strange. Great. Um, I feel great. Next up, the big cattle drive. I get the march has slowed down a little and they're taking a break. A lot more going on here. Translation. Uh, the big cattle drive is I don't know what that's meant to mean. There is not a there is one cattle in this entire photo and it is not being driven fucking anywhere. <laughs> it's sleeping. Oh no, no, no you mean cattle Abari literally Shiani. like yeah, the Abari Shiani is doing some shit. And there's Niwatori just causing problems and making Vanilla's life hard. And RP Queen is freaking out at something off screen. I didn't. I never noticed Ojama Yellow flying past here like it's being shot out of a missile. Wait, there's something wrong here. Yeah. So Man Grothro threw Ojama Yellow at the back of Harpy Lady. Oh head. yeah, it did. Oh yeah, yeah. It hit and her then in he the back. ricocheted off at a perfect right angle. <laughs> Okay, she's freaking out over that. I did not even notice that's what was happening. Every frame is so dense. There's so much going on. What exactly is happening with Ojama Green? Wait, Ojama He's Black is also today. there. He, I think Man Trotro threw all three Ojamas. No, he didn't. Because Ojama Green is just, like, excited. Where is Ojama Black? It's it's on the, it's above Abari Oshioni. Oh, yeah. It's but, going okay, backwards. this doesn't make any sense. But because... wait, Abaru Shioni kicked him with it, with his hoof. Yeah, he kicked Ojama Black into the sun, and Green is just standing Hold there. Hold up, I, I need to let I need to let fucking Twitter know that this is happening. <laughs> I need to let Twitter know that Ojama Yellow has been bounced off the head of a harpy. Uh. That is not the Oja Muscle guy. That is Manthrotro. From. The man throw the troll. <laughs> From the man who throws right. the troll. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. So that's for that corner of the screen. What else is happening? Uh, you got King of the Beasts having a moment. Uh, he's just kind of like he's the least he's interesting through it. part of the screen. No, look at his eyes. He is fucking crying. 
Oh yeah, pro probably because Manticore of Darkness is about to like fucking tear him into shreds. <laughs> uh, Better mount him. <laughs> it's it's not big cattle rabbit. It's big cattle mating season. <laughs> There's rescue rabbit down there with vanilla. Uh, oh, cause is cause Nimatori is eating all the radishes. He's eating all the carrots. Oh, 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 okay, I know what Manticore is doing. It's a reference to Threatening Roar because he's on that car doing the Threatening Roar. I think he's trying to apologize for roaring threateningly at him. Uh, okay, yeah, so... Those aren't carrots, they're round. They're like radishes, that's why I'm thinking that. Carrots are round? What are you talking about? I don't know what kind of carrots you've been eating, doi! Um, no, wait, I see what you're saying now. Yeah? I thought you were saying that they were like rounded, so they couldn't. No, you're no, you're right. Those are fucking yams or something. Yeah. The rescue They're rabbit here. is like doing some kind of. He's like pointing at like, are you seeing this shit? Check this shit out. What, what's up, <laughs> hey. Doc? Hey, your carrots. He's eating your carrots. I don't know if you know. And Vanilla's like, no, no. Well, Vanilla is having a crisis, while rescue rabbit is being completely fucking useless. Yeah. Um, this, uh, this kangaroo is like, what is this thing that he's doing? He's like, challenging he's beast to a fight? He's making a jerk-off motion. <laughs> um, okay, what's, trying to check out the background. One of the black wings in the top left, whose name I forgot, is being chased by, uh, another black wing? That's a different uh, monster. Are those black No, that's Hunter of Black Feathers! How do you know this? I think? Hold up. Why are the monsters having a mid-off? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, that's Hunter of Black Feathers! And he's hunting a black wing. Okay, yeah, okay. tracks. Tracks. Uh... Rather is black wing brain rot. Yeah, black wings are in my brain all the time. <laughs> Yeah, I think well, that's all that's happening body. here. I think, yep, the, I think the beasts are having a mid-off. <laughs> uh, nothing in this image is good. Okay, you can FTK with Manticore. Uh, wow. Okay, Rescue Rabbit is good. He's, Rescue Rabbit is carrying this entire image. <laughs> Rescue uh. Rabbit is the only thing here that has ever been in a deck. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, moving on. So, this is where uh, Konami decided, you know what, King of the Beasts actually sucks. Let's kill his ass. Let's just goof on him endlessly. <laughs> cross counter. So that's cross counter. Uh, it's just See, this kangaroo. I, I just Breaking the shit out of his stupid face. Just like I can't get into Baki. I just can't <laughs> This is the, the paneling on this is much more akin to Kanga and Ashura, but I'm not gonna start on that now No, you're right. You're right, but um This is just like honestly really good art like you can feel the force behind this and This is a moment in time that could be described as the worst day of King of the Beasts life <laughs> <laughs> the worst day of his life so far. Because <laughs> yeah, we know how it goes later. There. Yes. <laughs> this is merely the start of King of the Beasts getting clowned on at every possible opportunity. Yeah, his reaction to this is, well, at least it won't get any worse. Little did he know. Does he know? Uh... <laughs> Alright. Uh, not much else you can say about these. There is a detail here I like. Yeah. You see his mouth? Yeah. Teeth? His mouth isn't open. His teeth are grit, but like his front teeth have been fucking knocked oh, in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he slammed <laughs> through his Dave. closed mouth. Broke all his... Brock, they broke his jaw! <laughs> I hope the nameless art drone that drew this got paid very well, because this is a fantastic image. All right, that's great. Don't have much more to add. I wonder what slight he caused to Desk Kangaroo that caused this. Maybe this is the continuation think, of the Great Cattle Drive. I think Desk Kangaroo is just looking for a reason. 
He's an untrustworthy character. He's nefarious. Uh, okay. Now we have... Okay, this is just threatening Roar, right? Not much going on here, but man, he is threatened. He is terrified. How threatening could that Roar be? Must be like... <laughs> I mean, if you heard that, how would you feel? I mean, I guess kind of threatened. Not this much, though. I mean, the Manticore of Darkness can FDK him, so I'd be pretty scared of that, but the Roar wouldn't have much to do with it. I don't like the shape that Manticore has. I don't like that he has, like, Popeye forearms, <laughs> or that, like, it looks like he's wearing meat underwear. I don't like any part of oh, this. Oh yeah, I don't like that his crotch looks like he's wearing something, but he's not. Yeah. He's got fucking Frieza disease, where he has a crotch bulge, but that's supposed to be his skin. Yeah. Frieza disease, that's good. <laughs> I mean, Cell has it too. There's Dragon Ball Z loves to have villains that look like dudes in costumes, even though they're supposed to be people. Look at him sweating it up. He is about to this fucking is, this burst is, this into is tears. This is the first time we've seen him with his mouth fully open. Notice that? I mean, is it? Yeah. No, I guess it is. So he can open his mouth. That's an important piece of lore here that we've learned. All right. Now, someone brought up, is this before or after Desk Kangaroo beats King's face off? And the answer is it doesn't matter. Like, I think we should look at his mouth the next time we get a chance and <laughs> see if, like, the missing teeth have any continuity. Oh, wait, you're right. Hold up. Let's, let's look at the next card. Oh! Oh, you are so right, because check out the art on Lucky Punch. Yeah, you see? What yeah. did I tell you? Yeah, this dude just gets re repeatedly his shit kicked in, in a, con in a continuity. This is an incredible facial expression, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this dude can't stop <laughs> snotting and crying and drooling and pissing and shitting all over the place. It's so embarrassing. And you ask me how I'm doing, and I say, uh, oh, you know, not too bad. This, this is, is the I... face I'm making <laughs> as I type that. I love the pose in Rescue Rabbit. I, I love the shape of his other arm, like, he doesn't even give a shit. The total indifference on his face <laughs> as he serious punches this dude into like a deep depression. A uh, part I always found interesting about this card is uh, Behemoth's tail, which looks like calcified. Yeah, that was on the original art. He has like weird fucking monster hunter shit going on with his tail. Oh, I did not notice that. I mean, uh, is, That's is what the, I was referring to. Was that to in the original art? I did not see that. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. It's, it's on the Big March of Animals. It's on, like, all the art of him. All right. Well, uh, you know, he continues to get owned repeatedly into the new year and past. Much like all of us. I'm just wondering what, what, what this guy did that caused all these beasts to beat the shit out of him. Like, for instance, we still have the pig from Rush Recklessly. Adding more to it by just slam, ram, slam, rushing recklessly straight into his crotch. Yeah? Like, at this point, he has a swollen eye. He has like a bandage around his horn. He is covered in bandages otherwise. I know I sound like fucking Mr. Enter right now, but <laughs> please leave him alone. He's so mean-spirited. <laughs> What did he do? Like, you're kicking a beast while it's down. This is animal abuse by other animals. He, he doesn't even look like evil miserable or like monster miserable anymore. He just looks like he's through. Guys, stop. He's still missing the front teeth. The, yeah. the continuity is there. This is messed up. It, this it is, is right in his dick. Or knee, I guess, but most likely no, that's... it's dick. You can tell from the angle that he's sailing away, he just took a fucking nuclear headbutt to the soft parts. Also, again, you can very much clearly uh, tell great facial expression. I love that they just <laughs> told him, you can go wild on this one. 
this this has to be the saddest beast you've ever seen. <laughs> uh, no feast for this beast. Because <laughs> it does have teeth. This, this, this thing is going to have to feed itself through an IV drip for the rest of its life. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Uh, the, the unfortunate thing is we're already, like, what... More than halfway through, we have three cards left. And there's not much to talk about most of these, because I did think, okay, a quick impromptu one, but... They, these are very funny. Uh, Do fucking Moja and the other King of the Beasts after. I guess. Okay, so here we have Duck Dummy. <laughs> what? I love this what? art so, so much. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much going on here. Okay, like, pretty simple. Like, okay, he's about to eat some ducks. He's, he, he's convinced that he's still somehow above something on the food chain. Okay. I know, baby duckies, but mommy duck, no likey, so she pulls out the rescue rabbit, and the dude's PTSD just hits him full force. No! It is a cardboard cutout of a rescue rabbit. Yes! Like, point of order. <laughs> That's enough to induce him with, like, complete terror, disdain, he panic. A... <laughs> He's having a fucking flashback. Rescue rabbit, I kneel! <laughs> And it's, Gemini it's, jump scare. Yeah, it's such a shame that this is a Gemini monster because it is so good. It really is. I love the eye leaping out of the socket. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Hanna Barbera screen. Yes. <laughs> God, it's so good. Also, I love I love ducklings. They're very cute. Look at them. Uh, also, the face of duck is making like, <laughs> yeah, not not so hot shit now, are you? <laughs> no, that is not a face of disdain. That's a face of. Okay, I wanted you to go away, but like, this feels unnecessary. <laughs> He's like, Zayum! <laughs> okay. Heart. I, I love that uh, this implies that the beatdown rescue rabbit uh, inflicted upon Behemoth is so well known in the animal kingdom that they just carry this thing around to secure themselves from this dumbass. Like, it's all you have to do. Yeah, he's never gonna live this down. It's like the, the 13 to 0 matchup. He's, he's gone. They just give it up. Uh, fantastic. Um, Amazing. This is this is card lore. Nobody's talking about this, but this is card lore. Yeah. Okay, next up. Set uppercut. Set uppercut. Uh, is this him getting punched again? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, look at Super Nimble Mega Hamster go! <laughs> look at... is that one of him, or...? Th that's yeah, that's one of him doing, one. like, going super fast, doing hot hamster shit. Just fucking wave dashing on King of the Beasts. Yeah, wait, hold up, I gotta... can I move this so I can see what the one under it looks like? Okay, it's just showing me his ass, whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's so good, I, I love him doing a little pose under his foot there, it's like... <laughs> Because he's got time, he doesn't care. And he's still got, like, all the injuries. So right after, I guess, fucking Rush recklessly rushed his cock, <laughs> he got slammed in the nuts by this thing. Yeah, just straight up DP, level 3 DP, and I... Again, his face is so good. The amount of comical agony they're able to portray in these is so good. Like, this is the face that makes the- <laughs> That's the sound he makes. <laughs> Wait. Holy mother, I love the fucking patterns on his mouth, too. They really- the, Yeah, the they committed to like, that. The mouth looks fucked up and horrible, but like, they're consistent with it. In a, in a way that's, that's so beautiful. Their hatred of the King of the Beasts is so palpable in this image. Uh... But this is a really funny image I have to bring up now that some that was posted to me on Twitter. Person, am I? 
<laughs> I am first, am I? <laughs> I am person, and I will prove it to you by fighting. Uh, back to set up for cut. Um, yeah, not much else to say about this, but uh, a I little, a little quick trivia about Super Nimble Mega Cancer. Just let me check this for my facts, so I'm right. Quick fact: He looks. Utterly coked out. There is no soul behind those eyes. Super nimble mega hamster? Yeah, look at him. Yeah. He is fucking tweaking. He didn't do this because I mean, he, yeah, he every, dislikes every, King of the Beasts. Yeah, every rushdown character in a fighting game is tweaking at all times. Alright, so uh, Super Nimble Mega Hamster. This card received its name by Jerome McHale repeatedly shouting Super Nimble Mega Hamster repeatedly until everyone agreed, as stated in a Pojo post of his. <laughs> okay, sure. Just, sure. You just, know what? just so you know, what's going on in the localization department at Konami TCG? I would believe that the fucking TCG department at Konami here in the States is just the fucking screams of the damned at all times. <laughs> it's people My hexors! Dr. Frankenderp! <laughs> It's all just people chained to desks, screaming card names. And if they get one printed, they get three seconds outside. They get a single <laughs> breath of fresh air. Check this out! Alright. <laughs> uh, I think that's all for set uppercut. This thing yeah. has suffered enough. Okay, the last card in the in the behemoth storyline, if you will, is, is, is him being a narc. Honestly, at this point, he deserves it. Cause like, come on guys, what did he do? We need to know what this guy did to warrant all this. I love the look <laughs> on this poor thing's face. <laughs> I'm telling Beast sure? King Alpha Them? about this. Them? <laughs> yeah. Are you, you, you fucking you serious? <laughs> They're like concerned, but Rescue Rabbit seems like it's that. Don't worry about it, never, never believe him. <laughs> no jury will ever convict us. <laughs> we're too- we're simply too small. <laughs> Mr. Alpha, please send these little boo-boo creatures to the bottom of the deck. <laughs> send him to the graveyard and have him expelled. <laughs> the, indom the indifferent cruelty of the universe versus the indomitable beast spirit. <laughs> uh... Holy God. It just fucking I, I love I can't tell if uh Beast King Alpha's reaction is either um what are you talking about or are you serious? Cause I do like the idea that he just crept up behind Alpha and was like, Those guys, you gotta get them, they fucked me up. No, he sounded like totally those, unprompted. those guys, they did this to me. I was just minding my own business on top of who, the food chain. You? I have never seen you before in my life. <laughs> Dude, I got taxes to file and shit. I'm, I'm Beast King Alpha. But I'm the king of all beasts! Well, sounds like a you problem, dude. <laughs> Who put you in the hierarchy? The dismay on, on super nimble mega hamster. Yeah, hamster, hamster looks so... He, all, he even looks a bit guilty after that coked out DP that he gave him. What did I do to this guy? <laughs> I, I thought we were having a friendly sparring match. Ah, uh, very funny. They should, they should, they should, this, this would make for a great gag manga, Mitkins. Now make them kiss. <laughs> I'll make them kiss and, and make up. It's all fine. And then, like, <laughs> another beast type that, that's not been really. They're, they're like rescue hamster, just fucking Izuna drops him. <laughs> rescue hamster just shoots him in the back of the head. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's that's great. Uh, are there any other funny beast type things? Because we are kind of done already with these. Um, you know what? Let me go on to Edo Pro and find out. We'll do a bit of live read here. Melfi, what? What fucking Melfi? Like, put on a Melfi on the screen and we go, wow, wow, Melfi, wow. <laughs> Look at that guy. Look at that little guy. Look at that, it's a little guy. Moja. 
<laughs> oh, we wait. do have to do Mojo. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The painful cards. The what ones about... where, like, Ojamas appear and, like, fuck, do weird shit. What about... What about Ghost Beef? Ghost Beef... Uh, it, Ghost Beef just kinda looks weird. There's not much to... It, like, the implication is... Uh, oh wait, when I, when you look up Ghost Beef, you get, like, the sixth Google result is an image I made. Oh no. Hold up. Um, so, let me pull this up real quick. Uh, All right, let's see it. Let's let's just get eyes is, on it. This uh, is so. This image I made was is titled "This is the new seventy dollar hand trap: ghost beef and mild turkey and ray and temperature and the demise of the land." <laughs> I don't have anything to add to this. This is a screenshot from a dream I had. <laughs> the end of Evangelion, nineteen ninety seven. <laughs> <laughs> What's it do? Uh, when your opponent's monster dies to effect damage, you can discard one. You can discard this card. They gain 300 cards. It doesn't say destroyed. It says died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't care how many people like it. I'm not playing Crypt Worlds. What? This looks like Crypt Worlds. What is Crypt Worlds? It's a game. It, Vine Sauce played it like ten years ago. Oh, okay. It's a very. It's a surreal video. Oh, okay. I see. Game. I see. I wasn't aware. That's fine. Um, looks like a fake game from Hypnospace Outlaw. All right. Um, what about? What are your feelings on Master and Expert? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Hold up. Now we're just pulling shit out of our ass, but sure, whatever. Of course we are. What else are we gonna do? We call this a pathetic aesthetic. The beasts. <laughs> the beasts. Gro pathetic aesthetic. Gross beasts. <laughs> wet beasts. <laughs> the, the gross wet beasts of Yu-Gi-Oh. So <laughs> That's all of them. Here's master and expert. This card mystified me as a kid because I would stare at it. And think, okay, which one is the master and which one is the That's expert? the one thing everyone talks about with this game. And it's unclear, okay, because that's literally its Japanese name, Masuta Anex Ek Ekisupato. And the description is a deadly duo consisting of a beast master and its loyal, s loyal servant. So the beast down there is the expert. Expert of what? Expert of what? Being a beast? Yeah, he's a, he's a professional beast. And I hate how much it has, like... Not a human face, but like a weird imp face. He has like medieval guy who's never seen a cat having to draw a cat yeah. face. I mean, that's kind of what old Yu-Gi-Oh in general, all of, it, all of it looked like. And then the Beastmaster has like rabbit ears and then like weird bug joints. Beastmaster is like, I mean, kind of a cool design, honestly. It'd be a cool design if I could fucking tell what half of it was. Yeah. Obscured. It's obscured by the expert. Uh, I, what, what's he telling it? Go out there and zap to the extreme. I will. Thank you, father. Okay, well, thank you, master. Go, I go love, expert. I love the fucking bleach blonde locks on this shaggy animal. <laughs> yeah. So it has handsome. head hair. It has fucking <laughs> super saiyan hair. <laughs> That's why he's the expert, and you are not. You take 30 Benadryls and play that one Dark Souls mod, and this is what you fight. Any other beasts? Yeah, plenty. Okay. Uh, oh, there's plenty of beasts! What about 2,000 needles? Oh, uh, but, uh, there's... Are you aware of the all the 1,000 needles cards? Because there's three different 1,000 needles cards. I knew there were at least two. There's I wasn't three. aware that there were three. Okay, so there's three types of Thousand Needles, so... They all look very similar, but with some crucial differences. Let me just download all of them so I don't have to look them up. 
Uh, in the meantime, you guys can keep looking at Master and or the Expert. <laughs> master or Expert. <laughs> hunter which, and Hunter. Which one will you be? And there's something interesting about the Thousand Needles lineup also, which I'll bring up as we go through them, about their effects. Okay, let's hear it. Okay, I mean, as we go through them, let me, let me just uh, find all of them here. All right. So, the original Thousand Needles, the WoW area where you, when, when Barons is not boring enough. Uh, it's, uh, it's an exploding hedgehog. Don't know what to say Ang here. Angry. Angry. Angry, upset. I yeah. love that his head is kind of sunk into his body. Yeah, this is the creature, the, the, so, the noise that this creature makes is uh, something along the lines of... <laughs> <laughs> and then you are pierced by 1,000 needles and fucking die. I wonder if they actually drew 1,000 needles one by one by hand on this. They would never lie to us. Yeah, of course. If it says there's 1,000 needles on there, there's 1,000 needles on there. Sure. I have to believe in something in this life, or what's the point of living? <clears throat> so the effect of 1,000 needles is uh, when this defense position card is attacked and its defense is higher than the attack of the monster that attacked it, destroy the attacking monster, which makes sense because it's got 1,000 attack and 1,800 defense, so it was a pretty good thing to set. So next we have... Uh, next we have 2,000 needles. Which is a little pissed. More than a little pissed. Like, if that last thing was Angie, <laughs> this is very Angie. <laughs> <laughs> they missed the chance to just have two of them standing side by side. <laughs> oh, that's the two of us. <laughs> Thousand needles cool. if we try. <laughs> I love the cheeks that are puffed out and the fucking severely furrowed brow. And they added more needles. What else can you ask for? Uh, so they they have improved it, quote unquote. Have they? It is improved now level it. five. Uh, it's got two thousand attack and eighteen hundred defense, and the exact same effect. When it's attacked, and the attack of the monster attacked it is lower than its defense, while it's in defense position, you blow up that monster. However, its attack is 2000. So why would you summon it in defense position? Just to like... Keep it on the field longer so you can look at it. But you can't look at it because it's in defense position, it's face down. How would you know? And the third... How do you know what position I put it in? The third... To three thousand needles, is the is the just it's the angriest little foul Jesus beast you've seen in your life. Mother of God! It's no longer makes a noise audible to humans. It is a <laughs> it is an ultrasound which uh, will inflict damage to to your ears despite not hearing it. And, hey, I have a question for you. Yeah. What if you looked up and the sun looked like this? <laughs> I just have to deal with it. I'm not really surprised by anything anymore. I'd be like, you know what? Yeah, that makes sense. I guess I'd be a little I, upset. But you'd be a little upset. Yeah, but I would, I would, I would pass it off to. Oh, okay. I'm staring at the sun, so I'm seeing things. Let's just not look at the sun anymore. I wouldn't be able <laughs> you, you to do anything. You would take this to be a hallucination. Oh, I mean, what else could I do? I don't know. I'm just. What if? Oh, hold up! Hold up! Hold up! A better question. You looked at the sun, and it turned out to be this and you kind of brushed it off, then you looked at the sun again later and it was a little closer. I, I thought been here finally. <laughs> this is how it ends, Finally huh? it's time. <laughs> not, with a, not with a bang, but with 3,000 needles. I, I have a Yu-Gi-Oh lore fact for you. Yeah? The three images we've just seen were taken one second apart. <laughs> at the birth of the universe? Yes. At first there was the nothing. Big Angie, they call it. <laughs> big Angie. At first there was nothing, but then there was three thousand needles. As you can see, they added even yet more needles, and this one is level eight. It has three thousand attack and eighteen hundred defense, and the exact same effect. So, uh, why? Who's gonna be putting this in defense position? It's got three thousand attack. Fandom. The Thousand Needles fandom needed a conclusion. Guess when you stick to a gimmick, you shouldn't half-ass it, but Jesus Christ. They just asked it. 
They 3000 asked it. <laughs> Are there any other foul beasts? Uh, DD Crazy Beast. Oh, God, I hate that thing. DD Crazy Beast is fucking incredible. Okay, I'll pull it up. I actually hate that art, but I'll... <laughs> I'll do it for you. <laughs> and what was the, what was the thing... Uh, hold up. What was the thing where the guy's riding on it? Oh, DD Trainer, yeah, okay. So there's this little quick story about a guy who was... It lived in a blue world. Yeah, it's a guy who Not lived in a world. Life. And then he got bit by Crazy Beast. That is a penis. God, I fucking hate how this thing looks. Spe specifically, <laughs> it's the teeth. I don't like those... The way they're protruding, I don't, uh, I always hated that shot from Spongebob where Squidward, like, uh, takes, like, a, the tiniest bite out of the Krabby Patty, and it's, oh, like, yeah. his teeth poking out to take a bite out of it. Very good, <laughs> funny shot, but I hate when, when they draw teeth like that. This thing is doing that exact thing. This fucking moldy eclair. Yeah. I, I feel like the fucking Silent Hill circumcision dude when I look at this, because all I see is a penis. Well, let's look at his leg for a second there. It's very it's dark world. Incredi incredibly muscular leg. It's it got looks like eyes his limb growing is a out of it. Spot. He's got, like, incomplete eyes growing out of it. Like, l look at its actual eyes. Which one is the eye? It feels like <laughs> that bottom one is fake. I think above, yeah, that might the... be the real one. That might be the real one, or the green one, or the one on its bicep. You've got options. Also, is this... <coughs> hold up, is this second goblin? Uh, yeah. The, the the guy that that's on the artwork of... The guy that trains... Uh, what was his name? Uh, the orc... The, the, I don't remember. It's Co yeah, Coach Goblin. Coach Goblin. Yeah, he's the, the Coach Goblin is the monster that picks up Giant Orc when it goes to defense after attacking. Great combo. Yeah, that's the one. So, I don't know how he got in this situation, but evidently he got out of it because uh, <clears throat> we have this great duo of friends here. The progenitors to, to Lime and Dark Jeroid. But the, he really turned it around. He The beast looks like he doesn't want to be doing this. What is its fucking, like, gradius level of an undercarriage over there? What do you mean? Oh, oh, yeah. Look, look at its underside. Like, yeah, it's got, like, everything. It's, th this thing is incomplete. <laughs> like, it, it... Put this one back in the fucking oven. It is not done. Where did all its skin go? Circumcised. Oh, yeah, okay. It's really running up the whole penis thing, huh? Well, that's why it's called DD, Crazy Beast. Can we move on to a different beast? This one is too foul. This card wasn't released, it escaped. From the D dimension. Ooh. Alright, you know what? One more beast. So make it good. Alright, one more beast. One more beast. Uh, I've got... I think I have a good one. Okay. Dark Desert Tapir. Dark Desert Tapir. <laughs> this guy's great. What is his face? <sighs> what is his face like supposed to be exactly? Why is one of them like sucking his own dick in the background? Is what I want to know. Because the pier penises are like three feet long. <laughs> I'm. I, I could have gone the rest of my life without knowing that. And now you know. Now why is the first... I think the first one is making that face because his penis is three feet long. <laughs> He's looking back and I'm like, yeah, I know, just like ignore it. <laughs> that's, that, that's odd. That's, He's doing that... a self-suck thing. Whenever <laughs> the moon is full, he has to do like a self-suck thing. I was gonna say, oh, that's just self-suck Steve. Just let him do his thing. <laughs> just let him get it out of his system. 
Okay, uh, and he's like, oh, Steve, not again. Alright, that's enough of a doubt of does it appear, there's really not much going on here. He's kind of psychedelic looking. Uh, okay, one more crazy beast. Uh, one more crazy beast. Uh, let's do um, interesting. Let's do an interesting... Somebody one. keeps saying beast soul swap. I, I, this does look kind of funny. Alright, let me... Can I can I get an eye on it? Sure. Can I cheat and look? Or is it? Is it an anime card? What the fuck is no, it? No, this is, this is real. Uh, give it's me real. a moment. Beast soul swap is real. He is at peace. Nothing about this is peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his face looks pretty... pretty content. He wants to tell you a joke, but he has to stop laughing first. <laughs> Dude, you would not believe how I died. <laughs> I s there was this human eating a fig. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Yeah, it's just kind of goofy. Yeah, I, I I like what's going on here. I don't have a lot to say about what's going I on. Really, here, I really, okay, God. I love the weirdly morose, depressing background on this. You found a hell of a place to die. Yeah, just gonna become like a carcass. Somebody's gonna come across and be like, eh, unfortunate. A fit end to a foul beast. <laughs> Pray slaughtered. Okay, one more beast. Alright, one more beast. Let's get something completely bananas. Let's turn on... I'm gonna turn on anime cards. We're gonna find something completely... completely unhinged here. Guys, there's not much I can say about Moja other than... oh, how cute. Moja is just a fucking little dude. Okay, a we guy. don't need to agonize over Moja. Oh, I know! Do you? Oh, God. This is one. This is the foulest beast in Yu-Gi-Oh that I know of. I, I I have a suggestion as well. Yeah. Gravity Behemoth. Uh, he's just kind of like Behemoth, the king of all animals, which is definitely okay, not one. a coincidence, maybe. But uh, hold up, let me look at him real quick and decide. Yeah, this looks like if a Decepticon was a real animal. Okay, I have one more for you. Yeah. Yosenju Oyam. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> I know what that thing looks like. Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, two more beasts. One for you, and one for me. Uh, just let me let me look up real quick some trivia on Yosenju Oyam to see if it's based on some shit from Japanese mythology, because it really seems like it might be. This card is a reference to the Yamabiko. Ah, alright. It's a spirit and it's a yokai in Japanese folklore, of course it is. It means echo, it's responsible for natural... Oh, wait, I should probably pull up the card before continuing this. Yeah, let's let's have a look at it so that we can envision this thing doing all these incredible things you've told us it's capable of. So here's the grok from the Moomins. <laughs> and what it's supposed to be doing is... Uh, mm -hmm. Living deep in the mountains, direct encounters with the Yamabiko are rare. Often they are heard, but never seen. How do you not see that? Look at it. <laughs> the small and elusive yokai wasn't officially classified until the Edo period in Japan. Instead, the bizarre noises coming from the mountain were attributed to a natural phenomenon, like birds, and not given any spiritual significance. <laughs> I, I like how the fucking thing is classified as a scientific advancement. I... <laughs> the fucking Great Mighty Poo from Conquer was a milestone in Japan's understanding of the natural world. I, you need to hear this. Okay. It is usually depicted with gray fur, peach-colored belly, floppy ears, large grin, and arms outstretched as though it is caught mid-shrug. Well, one out of, like, five ain't bad. Not, none of this is... None of this fits that. This is like a, a living rock that's about to... that's about to do the wacky inflatable flailing arm tube man maneuver. <laughs> he's telling... he's begging for you not to kill him, even though he looks like he deserves it. <laughs> like... <laughs> doesn't even... 
have anything remotely close to your Senju's aesthetics, it's so bizarre. Well, whatever. It's kind of a weird thing. But, um, I will show you the most foul, wet, disgusting, nasty beast of Yu-Gi-Oh. Alright, uh, close us out on a high note before I return to my ageless slumber. Sniffus. Oh my Christ. Jesus. So you Mother guys Mary. might have seen this thing on a few card artworks before, particularly Name one thing in this image. <laughs> it it is a lot to take in because uh God, why why does this thing look like that? It just genuinely upsets me. <laughs> You have seen this guy on that grass looks greener. You've probably seen him somewhere else. I know it appears on other things. I can't be asked to look up right now, but I would be. This would be slightly more palatable if he didn't have spikes on his snout, which just looks like a pair of steel balls right now. I didn't want to say ball sack, but it's hard to call it anything else. It's like a. It's like protruding spike ball sack. He's got razor blades down on his chin. He has multiple razor blades. You can see two, like, fucking spider pedipalps under his chin, and then another set, like, splayed out from that. Science did horrible things to this animal. Science... And everyone's gonna pay for it. Feels like science created this animal. Yes. Uh... Okay, there... There is a short story pertaining to this, if I can just find the, uh, find the art on, on one of these things. If you have any other observations about Sniffus, do mention them until I do I, this. Its body is twisted in a way that I cannot imagine how it was trying to move. Yeah, I think it's just like fucking vehemently spinning and flipping around and shit. Uh... I don't blame these little fucking creatures for being terrible. That's nettles. That's also a real monster. Yeah, guys, yeah. the 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 thing. Everything on that grass looks greener. Is a real monster. Everything on that grass looks greener. Actually happened in real life. <laughs> it happened to me. It's not funny. <laughs> okay, so uh, real quick story about this thing. Okay. When a Goblin of Greed moved in or whatever. This was a problem he had to deal with. I guess this this is taken two seconds after the artwork of Sniffus. So he's still <laughs> bothering the nettles. And those uh, pesticides are just kind of all over the place. So they, they're failing to get rid of nettles. But there's also a big mess in the garden because of Sniffus. Uh... Goblet of Greed is just like, what have I done? What is that fancy-ass castle in the back? I think he's groundskeeper for, like, these lands. Oh, yeah. And... He has a, a shit job maintaining the lawn. And you can see there's a hole in the that... fence for Sniffus. Oh, yeah. He didn't release this thing. It just got in here. It was attracted by the delicious scent of pesticides. And then after that, you have the artwork of land flipping, which, wait, you can't see him too well, but this is... This is where Sniffus looks the most normal. I look at that and think, okay, weird dog with, with razor chin. That... Goblin is... That Goblin's making me think things that I don't want to think. He ate a bee. <laughs> but let's focus on Sniffus here. Because it's yeah, his he's... time. The goblin is not a beast, it's a fiend. We're talking about foul beasts. That's true. He's got a fucking... <clears throat> Goodness. He's got a whole array of blades under his chin. Yeah. But other than that, it just kind of looks like a dog. When he's no, not... When no he's not to... being the fucking... Being like... Uh, doing the motions of a uh, Jackson Pollock painting. Yeah, but... I, I'm not over that. What purpose do the fucking chin swords serve? I'm, I'm only now seeing them, like, fully splayed out in symmetry, and they terrify me. You know what? One more beast. Okay, how about Master of Oz? No. This this one's on me. No? 
Because somebody has been asking for the Wicked Worm Beast over and over, and I have a little funny story. Uh, you have a funny about story about the Wicked Worm Beast, do you? Yeah. How funny is it? Okay. Um, so here's the Wicked Worm Beast. It's a disgusting, foul, wicked beast. The game, it, the title is doing hell the job for me. Uh, it is visually, the, like, if I were to make the sound a fart makes into a picture, it would be this picture. Yeah, but it's a, it's a good, it's a well done fart, if you will. It, it sure. looked, it, they wanted to make a disgusting guy, they made one. I you know mean, what I mean? I can't argue with that. Yeah. I just wish there wasn't, like, an extendo anus front and center in this image. I, I, I like that there is one because it makes him look freaky and creepy and disgusting and wicked. Yeah, it's, it's, like... it's effectively loathsome. This is a foul beast. Anyway, here's a little anecdote from uh, fourth grade. Okay. Uh, field trip with my friends, school field trip with friends. Um, we're playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh those days, mostly of course with counterfeit cards, and I'm the only one who knows the rules. The others all play by Duelist Kingdom. It's not important though. Uh, we had this, for some reason, somebody one day claimed Exodia is female, and we just went along with it. And the joke became that because, that because he's female, uh, and if you wanted to, like, insult somebody, they would say, uh, Dude, you would totally make out with Exodia, lol. And that was like an insult, like, haha, you would, your, your, your standards are low or something, I guess. Whatever our logic Where was. Where does the time. Wicked Worm Beast factor into this? Okay, so wait for it. Uh, okay, I'm waiting for it. One time, we're just chilling out in our, in our hotel room, and my friend, who is in the same room, texts me, uh, Yo, dude. Make out with Exodia, lol. And I reply, Okay, well you make out with the Wicked Worm Beast. And he asks me, like, uh, this speaks out, what the, what the fuck is the Wicked Worm Beast? And I give him my deck so he can look for it. And he spends like five minutes shuffling through the cards, looking for it until he finds it. <laughs> and then he beats the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do like to imagine the dead silence in the room as this guy is like grumbling and looking through your deck like the fucking wicked worm beast. What does he think I'm gonna kiss? And he ties with this and decides you have to die for your crime. A fitting story for the final foul beast. 